Hello class 7. Today in chemistry we will discuss another category of elements that is metalloids. Now metalloids are those elements which fall in both categories that is metal and non-metal. Those elements which show the properties of both metals and non-metals are called metalloids. Some examples are given over here. Arsenic, germanium, tungsten and antimony. <clears throat> Let us discuss some of them in detail. Okay. The first one to be discussed in metalloids is silicon. Now we know that metalloids have both properties of metals and non-metals. So this makes some of these metalloids conductors of electricity. That means they can pass electricity through them and this is the reason some of these metalloids are alloyed with other metals and they are used in electrical circuits of electrical gadgets. Silicon is one such metalloid. Okay, silicon chips, you know chips, chips are electrical components which are found in electronic devices and computers. These are used for completing the circuits of electronic devices and computers. So silicon chips are made out of silicon which are used in electronic devices and computer circuits. Then silicon enhances iron's magnetic capacity. You know for making magnets we use iron. Okay, Artificial magnets can be made with iron. So iron Alloyed with silicon can be a better magnet when iron is alloyed with silicon. So silicon enhances iron's magnetic capacity when silicon is alloyed with iron. Silica that is silicon dioxide is found in sand. You know sand balu in Hindi we say balu. This sand has silicon dioxide which is used for making glass, kach. Okay, for making glass, this silicon dioxide, which is called silica, is used, which is found in sand. Next is pure crystalline silicon dioxide, which is also known by the name of quartz, are used in clocks and watches. Good quality of quartz can give you those watches and clocks which show you exact time. Okay. Some of the watches and clocks, they slow down or they uh, become very fast because in them the quartz that is used is of low quality. But if it is a pure crystalline silicon dioxide, a good quality quartz, then those clocks and watches will show exact time. So these are some of the uses of silicon. Next is germanium. Now um, along with all the names, I have given their short forms, chemical names. Okay, silicon, we write as capital S, small i. Germanium we write as capital G, small e. Germanium is used in manufacture of wide angle camera lenses. You know, nowadays we have all kinds of good quality cameras in mobile phones and extra uh, shoot, point to shoot cameras and zoom cameras. All these use wide angle camera lenses. So these camera lenses are made up of germanium. Germanium is used in semiconductor industry. Now, what is semiconductor? Remember, metalloids have the capacity of both metals and non-metals. So, these metalloids, metalloids are also named as semiconductors because some of them have conductivity of electricity in them. So, germanium is one of them which is a semiconductor. Alright. Semiconductors are used when light falls on it, that light can be used to manufacture electricity within them. Okay, germanium is used in that semiconductor industry. Next is, next use of germanium is inner coating of fluorescent tubes. Fluorescent tubes, the tube lights, you know tube lights, they are known as fluorescent tubes. The inner lining of these fluorescent tubes are coated with germanium coated paint. Ok, 
ओके इनर कोटिंग ऑफ फ्लोरेसेंट ट्यूब्स आर डन डन विथ जर्मेनियम दैट मीन्स जर्मेनियम कंटेनिंग कंपाउंड्स आर यूज इन द पेंट विच इज यूज टू पेंट द इनर लाइनिंग ऑफ फ्लोरेसेंट ट्यूब्स नेक्स्ट मेटलॉयड इज आर्सेनिक आर्सेनिक इज एलॉयड विथ लेड ओके यू नो दीज मेटलॉयड्स वेन यू एलॉय दम विथ लेड इट इंक्रीजेस द कैपेसिटी ऑफ लेड ओके सो दिस लेड मिक्स विद जर्मेनियम और एलॉयड विद जर्मेनियम इज यूज इन लेड स्टोरेज बैटरीज यू नो दोज बैटरीज विच कम विथ इन्वर्टर्स ओके इन्वर्टर बैटरीज दोज बैटरीज द बॉडी ऑफ दोज बैटरीज आर मेड विथ लेड एलॉयड विथ आर्सेनिक इट मेक्स इट वेरी हार्ड द बॉडी ऑफ द बैटरी बिकम्स वेरी हार्ड आर्सेनिक इज यूज इन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक इंडस्ट्रीज टू मेक एल ई डी दैट इज लाइट एमिटिंग डायोड्स यू नो एल ई डी स्क्रीन्स सो आर्सेनिक कैन बी यूज टू इंक्रीज द कैपेसिटी ऑफ लेड बाई मेकिंग इट हार्ड बाई एलॉइंग लेड विथ आर्सेनिक आर्सेनिक इज ऑल्सो यूज इन एल ई डी लाइट एमिटिंग डायोड्स टू मेक एल ई डीज राइट Trace amount of arsenic is also used in electronic industry. When added with germanium, when arsenic is added with germanium and silicon, it is used to make transistors. Arsenic mixed with germanium and silicon are used to make transistor. What are transistors? Transistors are electric circuits which are used in devices like computer and uh, your LED TVs and other electronic gadgets. next comes tungsten okay the symbol of tungsten w the tungsten earlier we used to get like this bulbs remember these are old fashion bulbs these bulbs had this filament this filament was made up of tungsten all right here they have shown with the help of an arrow this filament is made up of tungsten now tungsten has a very high melting point so it can actually um tolerate a lot of temperature okay this is the melting point of tungsten 3422 degrees celsius so it doesn't melt that easily so this property of tungsten is used in the filament okay so that the filament when electricity passes through the filament the temperature of the filament increases very high so it doesn't fuse so easily so this property of tungsten was used to make filaments of electric bulb so when you pass electricity through this electric bulb this tungsten when electricity passes through it it glows and that glow makes this bulb to emit light and when the temperature becomes excessive it surpasses that 3422 degrees celsius then the tungsten actually fuses it cuts and then the bulb gets fused those of you who have seen these scrap of bulbs you will know that when the fuse when it this filament cuts it the bulb gets fused and it does not glow anymore and since tungsten has very high melting point it is alloyed with other metals to make a strong combination all right a strong combination can be made with tungsten and other metals the next metal alloy that is antimony and it is The symbol of antimony is Sb 